Right, ladies and gentlemen, really nice, elegant item, um, beautifully sort of um, um, sort of canted there and angled with these lovely sort of um, um, panels all around it, these sort of ribs at the side and this sort of um, stamped um, decoration in the centre. Um, I don't think there's any reason not to think that this isn't sort of Georgian. Um, it doesn't have any maker's mark on the bottom. What there is, I'm afraid, you'll have to remove this yourself. There's some um, old price stickers we put on there. It's one of those gummy ones that needs some sort of spirit or alcohol uh, to take it off. I'll, I'll leave that to you. I don't know if it's going to come off fully, but there is an old uh, rubber label on the bottom. But as you can see, it is sort of Sheffield plate type, silver on copper, and it's all been hand-worked. I think there's some tarnishing there, but that adds to its uh, rather nice sort of um, old feel. I think it's all been hand-worked at some stage, little sort of beaded uh, edge um, and a couple of little sort of flecks there. Um, but um, it's a nice sort of uh, handcrafted rather, I think, than mould made or stamped um, item. Um, and I think it's probably, the shape would suggest it's for gaming counters. You used to have these on a card table um, with your gaming counters in. They used to make oval ones in papier-mâché, um, uh, ivory, various other uh, um, materials. But this, I think, it has that look. It could be for sort of bonbons or um, uh, pins or trinkets, whatever. But it has that card table look about it. And it's just classically, even if it's not exactly in date Georgian, it, it couldn't be more Georgian in appearance. And it's got a lovely old feel to it. There we are. Probably um, gaming counter holder in sort of Sheffield plates or silvered copper with the copper just showing through just as it should very lightly and attractively. Thanks very much indeed. Bye.